first contestant of the second half, Asli Akbe. Asli Akbe. Hello! Hello! We were right. Have any of you guys, right, have you heard of that term, chubby chasers? People that fancy fat people, right? And I think this term's a little bit weird. How quickly are these chubby people getting away that the people that fancy them are having to fucking chase them? If anything, they should just be called chubby grabbers. Oh, where are you going? Oh, there you are. Bang, gotcha. <laughs> have any of you, like, have you seen those guys, right, with the outline beard? These guys, you know, that have, like, an outline of, like, where they might put a beard if they maybe later decided to grow one. It's like, make your fucking mind up. Grow a beard or don't. I don't need to see what your bloody plans are. I mean, this guy recently, right, and he had the no moustache beard. Basically, he's a beard with no moustache to hold it up. It just looks like a misshapen muff. Just hanging off the end of his chin. Might kind of jump out and get you. Oh, I don't know. My grandfather, he's interesting. My granddad is the only person I know, right, who still uses a handkerchief. And it just shocks and bemuses me as to why it's acceptable for us to blow out our bogeys into an anchor or a tissue. We have a little look, a little inspect, don't we? And then fold it up, stick it back in our pocket. We don't do this with any other bodily excretion. And we don't go to a toilet, have a shit, wipe our ass, have a look, think, I had a bit of space on that. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll fold it up, stick it in my pocket, use it next time I'm going to the loo. Why are we fucking saving tissues and saving the world with tissues? I don't know. A mate of mine, he says to me, he goes, if you were going to be reincarnated, right, if you could, and you could only come back as being one of the nut family, which nut would you be? I was like, that's easy, mate. I'd be a peanut every time. Because I think peanuts are like the gangsters of the nut family. You mess with a peanut, you could die. <laughs> Many people have died from messing with a peanut. Also, peanuts have used to be quite cultured. I think go on any plane going anywhere and there'd be some peanuts there. The fuckers were travelling all over the place. <laughs> but now, right, since the discrimination, now they're just like fugitives on the run. You buy any food product on the side, it says, beware, a peanut may have escaped <laughs> and jumped into this loaf of bread that you're about to buy. So now you just see them hanging out in pubs and bars, you know, they're all huddled together, talking about the good old days, how things used to be before the foreigners fucking came along and took their jobs. Of course, I'm talking about the wasabi cunts. <laughs> Do any of you look like wasabi peas? Yeah? Yeah, so you're fucking taking away the peanuts jobs. Don't do that. That is wrong. A mate of mine, right, she's had a baby recently. And you know what people are like with their newborns? I went round her house and she was like, do you want to hold him? And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. She's like, do you want to bloody hold him? I was like, yes, I want to hold him. I'm well impressed you created life. Well done, you. So I'm holding the baby like rather than a boy. And then there's a smell. The baby's done a poo. So she took the baby off me, put the baby on the sofa, undressed the baby. And the baby was there and it's all naked and that. And then I started thinking... Don't look at the baby penis. <laughs> Why are you even thinking about looking at the baby penis? Why do you even have to tell yourself that you shouldn't be thinking about looking at the baby penis? You should just automatically not be fucking doing that. Because I started thinking about it, I had to have a look, I had a little look, huge nuts, little things. <laughs> Has this happened to anyone else? <laughs> And then, right, and then it's like breastfeeding time, and she wants me to listen to her and look into her eyes and, like, listen contently and all that. And I'm, like, trying to look in her face, but then my nipples just, like, just keeps taking my eye, and then, like, nipples started winking at me and it's telling me, like, that the other one was evil and that. Has <laughs> this happened to anyone else? I don't know. But the thing is, right, I'm single, okay, and the thing is, I work in the media industry, and all of the good-looking guys are gay. I've got no chance. I have thought about gayness myself, obviously, of the lesbian kinds. I can't, you know, do the other one. I can't afford the gym membership. But <laughs> I've got a few problems with lesbianism. Like, firstly, I'm not into breasts. Secondly, I'm not too crazy about Kylie. And thirdly, I'm trying to eat healthily at the moment. And, uh, <laughs> I don't think there's anything you can eat that's higher in calories than pussy. <laughs> I mean, how many proper skinny lesbians have you not seen them about? Most of them are on the slightly larger side. I think mean, it must be something they're eating. <laughs> it must be something they're eating. <laughs> uh, anyway, so right, I recently split up with this guy, and the thing is, like, he, you know, he had a small penis. This is annoying for girls, right? And I recently split up with him. The thing is, however hard 
You tried, it just wasn't hard enough, you know. And however hard I tried to convince him to take the plunge and give in to the endless stream of junk mails about penis enlargements <laughs> that I used to send him, <laughs> he always just said he'd rather learn to live with his disability. You know, so. Well done, Asley. We have another finalist. Well done. Keep the applause going. Would you